This section that we're about to cover is without a doubt the shortest in material and probably the longest in the problems that we're actually going to do. The reason that it's the shortest in material is because we're introducing no new tests. We're just going to sort of summarize all the tests that we've been through and talk about what do we look for when given a series to figure out how to test it. So first off, let's summarize all the different kinds of series that we've had so far. We've had geometric series, we've had uh, telescoping series, we've had P-series, we've had the integral test, we've had the comparison test, both direct as well as limit. After the comparison tests, we also had the um, alternating series test. And we had the ratio test. And we had the root test. So I'd like to uh, talk about the kinds of things to look for in terms of um, what test we would want to use. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the root test. Root test is relatively straightforward. Anytime you see something that is a function of n and it's raised to an nth power, go with the root test. Anytime you see a factorial involved, go immediately to the ratio test. In both of these cases, if you have just a number raised to a power, uh, number raised to the nth power. That's probably going to be a good one to use. Alternating series test. Anytime you see some sort of alternator in there, that would be a great one to use. So a negative 1 to the n or cosine of n pi. The comparison tests <clears throat> for when it looks similar to something that's either geometric or a p-series or something along those lines geometric or p-series. Integral test, I would stick with this one if you can integrate it. So we'll say easily integrated. p-series takes on a very specific form. It's the sum of 1 over n raised to the p-power and it will converge if p is greater than 1. Telescoping series, we had that very particular case of, um, you know, you, you put it into a form where you're getting stuff to cancel out and then just verify essentially that um, whatever piece you have that's left over, that it's uh, going towards zero. And geometric was of the form A times R to the N and converges if the absolute value of r is less than 1. So the kinds of things to look for would be stuff like this. Now there are a couple other things that we should talk about which is the divergence test which says that if the corresponding sequence uh, diverges or converges to a non-zero value, then the series automatically diverges. So from here, it's simply going to be a matter of let's take a look at some problems and see what there is to see. 